Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rennie. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching this video. So today, as you can probably see by the title, we're gonna act I'm actually going to show you how to invest in the stock market. I know that in my last video, we went through the basics of investing, such as who can invest, where can we invest, why should I invest, how can I invest, and when should I invest. But today, I'm gonna take you a little bit deeper into how to invest. So we're actually going to make a trade, and I have my laptop right here, where I'll be showing you exactly how you can trade in the stock market. So stay Let's tuned. Let's begin. So the first thing that I am going to say is I am not a financial professional. I'm just showing you exactly how I make trades. I will go on TD Easy Web. This is the platform that we're going to be using today. So this is Toronto Dominion Bank's web broker. I will just search TD Easy Web and click on the first link. When you get here, you'll see a dashboard of how much you actually have in your account. I will just be showing you buy and sell today. So what you can do is click buy and sell in the top right corner. And then we're going to, you can choose which account you want to invest in. So there's the Canadian TFSA, the US TFSA, the Canadian RRSP, and your US RRSP. I like to split my stocks into both Canadian and US just because I like to differentiate between them and get my returns in US dollars. So I will go into my US TFSA, which currently only has $143 in it. I will search for a stock. So say I want to buy um, D dog, data dog. So I will just search for, you can either search data dog and it will pop up or you can search D dog, which is the ticker name and it will pop up. Okay. First, actually it shows me that I have $143 in this account. This is in US dollars because it's my US account. So this means that I can only buy up to $143. This is because the rest of my money is actually in stocks. So obviously you can't buy another stock with a stock. What you can do is you can see how much right here the stock is currently selling for. So right now it's selling for $72.84. And that's an increase of 4.22% just in the last day. So this is the bid price and the ask price. And what you're gonna do, if I want, and this is the volume, so the volume shows you how many have been sold. And each time you refresh, these numbers will refresh. They'll only refresh from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. because that's when the market is open. So to do, to buy a stock, I will press buy. I'll put the quantities. Pretend that I wanna buy one. You can choose market price. So if you choose market price, it will buy at whatever somebody is selling in the market. So although it's worth $72.80, if someone wants to sell it for $80 and you press market, it may buy it at that price. So just to be safe, I like to buy all my stocks at limit price. So I'll just click limit. And then I'll say, don't buy the stock if it costs more than $72.80. This is optional of course but this is a good way to make sure that you're not overpaying for your stocks then you can specify the day so if i said okay i only want to buy it if it reaches 71 dollars for example then right now it's at 72 dollars so i want to wait till it drops to 71 dollars before buying so what i'm going to do is specify the day that i want it to be this order to be good until i can choose Okay, if by next Friday it gets down to $71, purchase it for me. If it doesn't, just leave it and give me my money back. Then you enter your trading password and then you'll press preview order. So when I press preview order, it'll ask me, okay, so with the commission that TD charges, which is $9.99 and the amount, so $71 for the fee, it'll come to $80.99. Am I sure that I want to purchase? I am sure, so I'll just click agree and send order. And then if it's filled, then I will that I will now own the stock. Another option is to sell your stocks. So to sell your stocks same way. So I do own this stock. And if I want to click sell, I can say, okay, I want to sell two of these stocks that I own. Again, I don't suggest choosing a market price because if somebody wants to buy it for less than it's worth, it may buy it at that price. So I always suggest put a limit price. If I put, I want to sell only if someone's willing to buy it for $73. Then once it reaches $73, it will be sold. 
there are also stop market stop limit trailing stop market and trailing stop limit but I feel like these are a bit harder to explain so that will be another video for another time I hope that video was helpful and I hope you learned a lot about how to actually purchase a stock if there are any act other videos that you would like to see from me please let me know I will definitely get them done for you have a great day and thank you for watching remember to like comment and subscribe bye